ओके मोनिका जय सचिदानंद मारे गाओ छे दादा नु गीत मारे गाबु छे प्रेम नो अमृत पाऊ छे प्रेम नो अमृत पाऊ Not too many people have come, so 
we will do now column, okay? So oh, wait, the defect data says we'll do same JJ Caro. Defect data. Hey, Satchidanan. Hey, Satchidanan. So I do and who will follow? Or Everybody. All four will follow. Dada Bhagavan na Asim Jai Jai Karo. 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 Dada Bhagavan na Sim Jai Jai Karo 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 Dada Bhagavan Dada Bhagavan na Sim Jai Jai Karo 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 Jai Satchidanan Jai Satchidanan, okay. Shailas Dada, Jai Satchidanan. Jai Satchidanan to everybody. Can you do three months up? Children will follow you? Yes, sure. Today's English Satsang. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Vitra Gai. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Vazayanam. Namo Lohe Sava Sahunam. Eso Panchana Mukkaro. Eso Panchana Mukkaro. Sava Pavapana Sanu. Sava Pavapana Sanu. Mangalanancha Sava Sim. Padamam Hawaii Mangalam Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevai Om Namo Bhagavati Om Namo Bhagavati Vasudevai Om Namo Bhagavati Jai Jai Satchidanan. Jai Satchidanan. So, there's nobody who knows English prayer, so. Ah, okay. Okay. Deepak Dada, you have the English prayer? Yeah, moment. Okay. Yes, okay. 
Uh, it talks about knows English, but okay, it talks about. It talks about. Okay, you can do the English player. Is that Shiva? The boy that is actually Shiva is there? She was there. Let me see. Okay, go ahead. The boy that you can do it. Oh, he, she's there. Okay, thanks for that. Oh, that's a good one. Please give me infinite innocence such that I will never compromise my hands so that my body as an instrument will always be helpful in my searching and study. Life goes of studies and such. I will remain absolutely sincere in studies. I will always stay away from bad company and bad habits and whatever happen please shower your divine and grace blessing such that i never ever miss my such self may i use my mind speech body instrument and my soul that is all my resource to oblige other which is the best religion i always remain sincere moral and pure in mind speech and body in all my dealings with self and everyone in life so that I become man of personality by explain as Dada Bhagwan. Oh Dada Bhagwan, I further resolve to always listen to my parents and never I will I ever back answer then arrogantly please give me infinite strength in this time. Very good. Can you do study prayer also? Yes. Okay, oh, I am determined to break all the various obstacles and obstructions that came in studying and understanding. Please shower your divine grace and break the veils on my vision and give me the infinite strength to make my learning the best. Okay, very good. Okay, is Divya, is Divya there? Divya there? Ah, uh, no. Oh, yeah, she's there. Okay, yeah. Divya. Hey, unmute, Akshay. <coughs> okay. okay, now. Hey, hey. It's a very good idea. Okay, for the new new people who are join, for the new people who are join us, okay, we will talk about the five niyam, five rules that everybody is following. Okay, and what is niyam? Afterwards, Shadis Dada will explain. Okay, why niyam? What are the benefits of niyam? Okay, so. The five names are you choose we have three goal of life. So you choose any one of them to improve yourself. Okay? Just like first first goal is study. So any week studies you are, you can take up a plan to improve that. Second one is health. Your waking time, your eating habits, your eating prayers, exercise. You can pick anything you want to improve on. Okay? Third is the satsadhan. We have sent everybody 
There are 25 such sadhans you can do every day. So you can choose, I uh, like to do 25 of them. But then as I will say, what is the benefits of that later on, okay? And the fourth niyam or rule is, is uh, super brain yoga. Uh, Deepak Dada will explain what is super brain or yoga. And the fifth one is satsadhan. So all the new people, please make a chart every day and see what niyam you are going to do. There's the people, our children are doing it, so we'll just take a report from them from the last week, how they did on the niyam. Kushi Amdawad? Jai Satchidanand. You have to talk in English. Can you talk in English? Okay, try. Monica Didi, you think about it, okay? Monica Didi? Jai Satchidanand. And my first name was to do 15 sums in math for one hour. But from last week, I did seven out of one only. And my second name was to wake up on five o'clock. But I woke up. My first name was that I had to wake up at 6 a.m. So it is I had wake up at 6 a.m. at 6 days. Today I was only wake up at 7.30. My second name was that I had to complete my homework every day. Only two days I had not complete my homework. So it is uh, 5 out of 7. My third name was that I have to don't break my column 1. But today I had broke column 1 with mom. So it is 6 out of 7. My fourth name was that I have to do the brain yoga. So I hadn't do one day. So it is 6 upon 7. And my fifth name was that I have to do such as an everyday. 
on the two day I had done twenty one sir so then from twenty five. So it was okay. seven six upon seven. So whom whom did you break the first column with? Mom. What did hap what happened? That my only some fab book were incomplete. Uh, I was telling to mommy that my all fab book are complete and uh, uh, in our math test I have some less marks. So mom was angry that why you have less marks in maths. Okay, Vidhi Didi. Uh, Jai Sachidanan, my first niyam is that I want to wake up at 6.30 a.m. So in this niyam, I um, only three out of seven. My second niyam is that I want to do such sadhan, all such sadhan. So um, five out of seven because two days I missed two such sadhan. Um, my fourth niyam, my third niyam is that I don't want to break column number four. So uh, uh, in this week, I broke column number four with uh, um, office Didi. Uh, my fifth niyam is that I don't want to break column number five. So I broke column number five with, with this Didi. And my sixth uh, niyam is that I want to do super brain yoga. So um, six out of seven. One day I missed it. Okay. Afterwards, Silas Dada will talk to you about how to work with co-workers. Silas Dada, you give hard time to your co-workers? Or, okay. Uh, Ananya Didi. Jai Sachi Danan. Today I did 30 minutes of English grammar. Today I had follow eight column out of nine. I had not follow first column. I jumped 60 out of 100 ropes today. I broke the first column with my mom. What did you do with mom? Mom was not in the mood to talk and I was talk with her. So mommy oh. angry. So, so your mom you, you check your mom's mood. Huh? You don't check your mood? So that's that I will talk about that. Okay, uh, children, uh, we'll catch up with other people tomorrow. Deepak Dada, what is superpower yoga? Yeah, I will, I will just show you one of the kids, Darshna and Kushal, had done because the main video which shows and explains this uh, is quite long, but we will make it short and just explain it briefly what it is all about. Just a moment. Can you all see that? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, it seems uh, we had a small video from America, the way they used this particular yoga practice and uh, they found great changes in uh, several areas. That is people who had mental diseases, school kids who were not obedient, who were not listening, who were creating a lot of trouble in the class. And by doing this, they automatically came into, uh, I mean, discipline. And when they did some, uh, uh, what do you call, medical x-ray, uh, not x-ray, some picturing, imaging, then they saw that the working of both the right and the left brain became balanced. And this is how, so they have introduced this in various uh, mental hospitals and other uh, uh, what is a facilities where kids and even elders have problems. So uh, even here in our kids session, we had told them to do 10 such sit-ups touching uh, their ears in a cross that is right hand that is the left ear lobe and the right, left hand is the right uh, side ear uh, low and you have to really squeeze it like so it does acupressure and they have said that they have conducted experiment 
that if you do this, then this thing works automatically. It is like self-educating, uh, self-correcting. So in some of our kids uh, experimented this and they found that they were able to pay good attention in their studies. Uh, it also helped you physically, uh, just doing sit-ups. Uh, like uh, one of the kids said that her match uh, skill improved. So this is how, so we have introduced this and everyone is doing it. Even elders are doing, even I am doing it on a regular basis. Uh, Rani Dada is also doing. One more thing I would like to add. I have seen one of our very senior follower, senior Mahatma, uh, his name, Dr. Radha Krishnan. I have seen him whenever he did uh, uh, worship and he did his morning salutation to God in his temple. I saw him catching his ears like this, cross hands, and doing it three times. He would sit down and do sit up three times. And this is a uh, dramatic ex uh, display of your repentance of what you have done wrong. So this is how it works. And with the kids, it is really working and helping them a lot. Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan, come on. Kevil, come on. Uh, Kevil, you do with your papa every day and report next Sunday, okay? Come on. You do with your ma, uh, dad, ma and report uh, next week, okay? Okay, now we are very fortunate that because we're talking of a super brain yoga, Shaila Sanji is also here and uh, he's, he'll talk about that. We talk about the Niyam and also how to deal with subordinates. So, talking about the Niyams, first, a gross simile that the river water has abundance of energy but it works when it is flowing between the two banks of the river. If it flows heavier, the whole energy is lost. <coughs> Similarly, our body, mind, body, speech, mind, then our whole inner self, and then our soul or conscious. We have immense potentials or immense energy in very many aspects. But to harness that inner energy, to best utilize our inner energy at all levels, body level, speech level, mind level, inner self, as well as our soul or inner conscious level, we should have some niyams, self-imposed regulatory system or niyams. Now, there are two, three things that our prakriti, even our body rhythm, biorhythm, we say in medical or science terminology. But if you cultivate your biorhythm in a particular niyam, then it works the best. And you must be observing that whatever biorhythm you have developed, in the, those periods, your body, mind, speech, all are at the optimum level of functioning. So, even physiologically from the body and mind and inner energy point of view, it's good to have certain patterns or certain names. At a level of our mind also, it's like harnessing the energy of horses. You have very powerful horses, but if you don't rein and harness the energy of horses, it will all drag you to any direction. So for that, but to achieve any good thing in a life at any level, relative or real, uh, maybe worldly or maybe spiritual, one should have certain niyams or certain self-imposed systems, I would say. And then and then only we can have the best outcome. Today's world is in a way competitive world. We all have been given same timings. But how we use our time and our energy decides where we will be, whether in the top class or we'll be lagging behind. And as far as the spiritual or inner progress is concerned, the value of restraint has been immense 
and restraint comes or the self containment comes with the niyams or self imposed systems so at one place even dada ji said that niyam will take you to moksha whatever niyam is there but niyam will take you to moksha so this is the value of niyam or the self imposed regulating systems or our set self imposed self made regulatory or niyam what in gujarati we say niyam but in english we can say it's my self regulating self imposed systems any question about that or or any uh, anything further rajini dada unmute sorry thank you kaval do you understand what says dada said kaval yes. okay kevin kavan yeah okay okay dear okay says dada Can go to the next subject. Which one do you want to take me? Okay, you can talk with Vidhi. What happened, Akushi? Ah, oh, sorry, Vidhi. What happened with uh, at work? Vidhi. Ah, uh, Jai Sachidanand. Um, uh, I I broke column number five with her. our office girl because she made wrong bill so that's why what did she do she made wrong bill like uh, party wise alag bill ho jata rahe light le a wrong bill okay all right so i would say that to be successful and happy and harmonious in our relative or interconnected living where we are living with others it's a interconnected living rather than the academic knowledge and skills they are important but how you deal with the other humans art of dealing with the people is of paramount importance even if your skills may be little less but if you know how best to deal with your with the people around you maybe your coworkers maybe your colleagues maybe your customers maybe your clients maybe your boss whosoever it is one that is why dada ji said that one who can master the art of adjust everywhere not adjust everywhere but dealing with the people will not only be successful in this world but would also sail to the door of liberation now here there are several aspects it's it, it won't come overnight but one has to slowly understand the aspects number 1 it's your impulsive reaction yes she did mistake i agree that she sent wrong bills but at the same time you have to look within yourself before giving reaction so i i exp i realized i experienced that the world universities teach us lessons of management how to manage and in that they try to teach us how to manage the other resources human and otherwise means living and non living material resources as well as human resources but the enlightened ones say that one who can manage one's own self can only manage best the other people if i can't manage my impulses if i can't manage my own reactions well i cannot manage the other people so before going to our gnan this is we are traveling from 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 the lower steps to the earth. so what happens that your coworkers and colleagues will be faithful and will or will 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 be harmonious with you if you look shuddhat mind to them if you are friendly with them you need to tell them but before telling them you have to make yourself such a friendly 
that she will feel oneness with you. So oneness and friendliness, Dadaji said, Laguttam Bhav will come later on. But oneness and friendliness starts. So you can definitely say that, see, this mistake will cost us this much, this will have these results, but never mind, because everybody learns from mistakes. Don't we make mistakes? We also make mistakes. Yes. Then Dadaji gave us the another principle also. So working with co-workers, it's a garden of human beings. In a garden, all are not rose, all are not jasmine, all are not mangoes. You can't go to mango and ask for a flower. You can't go to rose and ask for a mango. So recognize the personality or abilities or positive skills of a person. And also there will be shortcomings or thorns or into that. But a leader or a superior or a, or a, what you can say, a supervisor or a manager, whosoever word you, what, whatsoever word you use, it is one who knows the abilities and skills of the people and can make best use of it and do not find the shortcomings or always do not point at the faults of it. So even if your intention may be good that the, such mistake should not occur, but there has to be a way. Otherwise, the hearts and mind gets broken and then she will, she will have to be with you, but from heart, she, he or she will not be with you. So, it's a garden of human beings, know the abilities, positivities and skills, know the art of dealing with the people. Your heart should be such that you can nicely deal with the people. And that's where it comes that I have to deal with the people, but I don't want to hurt anybody. So this is a practical taste which is starting as soon as we go out in the world. All what we learn here and what we reiterate here as niyams, that's a taste over there. Here it is theory. In a living, in a life, it is a taste. Practical, how much we have imbibed it. So it works like this. And a leader is one who remains most humble, Laguttam Bhav, right. but shows by own living and gives an example by own living. So there are many, many qualities of a leadership or dealing with a co-workers or underhands, but we have just brought out the few, your transparency, your honesty, your and during office hours, you can deal formally during tea time or during relaxing time, be friendly, bridge the gap with a friendliness. So during the office hours, you will have a best hearty support from everybody. Right. Even in your absence, they will heartily work for you. Otherwise, you cannot win over the hearts. So <coughs> learn the art of winning over the hearts of the people. If one wants to get the best out of people. And that's where I need to look at my own egoism, means relative discharge egoism, that it doesn't do bossism over the other people. People say he is doing bossism. Right? right. So this is my, these are some of my observations or my you, uh, feelings from Dada's Gyan. And when, Dada when, ji, for Dada when, ji, thousands of people work. Dada ji was civil contractor. And he used to work with the laborers, and laborers are the most jadi buddhi. And you you know what the civil uh, in a civil line what the laborers are like. Yes. But Dadaji dealt very nicely with all of them. Hardly ever he had to shout at them. But they were bound. They were ready to give heart, soul, and life even for Dadaji, because Dadaji okay. has that unique weapon of love and oneness. Right. Okay. When you have a chance, why don't you put down the points and let us know? Okay. Hey, Kevil. Kevil. Do you yes. do you hurt your papa or mama? Sometimes. I'm sorry. Sometimes. Sometimes. What happens when sometimes? I feel bad. No, no, why, why you sometimes hurt? I know, that is very good you feel hurt, okay? But why sometimes that you have to do it? I don't know. 
You don't know? Okay, next week, please let us know. Kavan, Kavan always, always hurts her as Papa, right, Kavan? Kavan? Most of the time. Most of the time. Do you hurt your par Papa all the time? Not all the time, but most of the time. Most of the time. What, what, do, what do you do? He tells me to do this, but I feel like that... Uh, for me, because once I finish it, he tells me to do another thing, and then I get so tired that I just want to do my own thing, so I get mad. Okay, next week, please jot down some of the points, okay? And then we'll discuss with after. With okay, Monica, you had a question? Yeah, I have also one question, and also want to say something. Yeah, tomorrow my exams are starting, so give me the blessings that I will do my best in my exam. Oh, sure. We all of us pray for you that your chit remains best during the exam. Radha Bhagwan will be there with you in exams. Okay. Yeah, and my, my question was that how to deal with people how to deal with people now you said yes how to deal with people how would you like the people to be de to be dealing with you lovely and happily Cheerful. yes so so this is a simple sentence of the wisdom that deal with the people the way you like to be dealt with by them right so लोग आपके साथ जैसा व्यवहार करें ऐसा आप इच्छा रखते हो ऐसा ही व्यवहार आप दूसरों के साथ करिए दैट्स अ सिंपल सेइंग बट लेट्स गो अ लिटिल इनटू डेप्थ ऑफ दैट दैट व्हेनेवर यू बिहेव नाइसली विद द पीपल व्हेनेवर यू सी वर्च्यूज इनटू देम व्हेनेवर यू सी एनी पॉजिटिव क्वालिटी इनटू देम डू यू फील हैप्पी या आई फील हैप्पी एंड डू यू गेट एनीथिंग आउट ऑफ दैट नो why how why not if i see something good in dipak anand ji i immediately get it i get benefited so if you see the virtue if you see the positivity if you respect if you feel happy about something of somebody it is you who are getting benefited yeah. and if you see anything shortcomings or if you condemn anything if you criticize if you are mad about anything about of anybody it's you who are loser so by seeing the virtue or a positive quality you are the gainer or we are the gainer by seeing the bad thing we are the loser that that enters into us so that that's a big lesson and when i try to be nice irrespective of how they are behaving to me if i try to be respectful nice good friendly if i i decide to give them happiness and help then i am the gainer i rise above i feel my inner energy will open out i i will be able to cross all the obstacles and hurdles so much so that nothing will no obstacle will feel like obstacle to me so and if we go still in depth of that the world is me only and it's my own echo first is world is my own echo dada ji gave a simple example if you go to a deep well and shout you are a thief the echo will come you are a thief if you shout you are a king the echo will come like you are a king similarly world is our own echo whatever inner and outer vibrations or behavior we are passing to the world does come back to us so only allow the vibrations and mind body speech behavior to go which if comes back will feel, make us happy and it will not hurt us second thing no sooner your mind body and speech makes others happy you are the first happy person before helping others you are help and before hurting others you are hurt so that's how also world is me only because it affects me first so world is my own echo and world is me only so and the last and most important thing we behave reactionarily if somebody says good i will in a reaction i'll say good if somebody says bad words as a reaction i will give double bad words enlightened ones have never have the reactionary behavior 
they don't do a reactionary behavior they do what their understanding tells them to do no matter what the others are doing so these are some important lessons of dealing with the others and as you become more and more wise you will realize that there is no other in the world it's me only as long as long as you feel there are others there will be a gap and there will be a puzzle of dealing no sooner you realize that in a worldly language there are others in a nature's language it is me because it's my own projection is projection of my own conscious so then you will learn everything yeah okay. whenever i see somebody who i don't like and when i see their face i get so much angry that but who, but, but who is the loser there you you become loser or she or he or she becomes loser i become loser so do you want to continue the same business no then okay. or avoid that situation yes so if 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 your eyes are not seeing good you go to eye doctor that please give me glasses check my eyes or correct my cataract so here inside us there are certain viruses of computers or certain ignorant beliefs that he or she is not good and that and that that very opinion is hurting us that's our impurity of our inner vision right even a bubble tree is useful even though he, bubble tree has lots of thorns and nobody likes a bubble tree but it has lot of medicinal values so one who knows those medicinal values will use it so similarly dada bhagwan said that all these are the natural creations created by nature and everybody has some or other virtue so change your vision from within that see if i wear a black glass the world will look like black if i have a red the world will look is red and then i keep on shouting why the world is red 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 no you change your glasses the world will be beautiful and clear and white remove your cataract or get the numbers checked so we we have to go within change our wrong ignorant beliefs which is showing us the others are like this and that and along with that it is our egoism which is a unwanted egoism or a negative egoism which is first hurting us and then hurting others or making the world miserable for us at times it can make the world miserable for us but it's not the world it's we who are creating the world happy or miserable it's up to us so ask dada bhagwan give me such an inner understanding inner vision clarity of inner vision and inner energy such that my negative opinions just get vanished for everybody and i have positive opinions and then as a next step i move towards becoming opinion free okay uh, yeah you have to think about it and uh... uh add that to one of your name so you can track it okay jai satyadanand make a, make a list of uh, the people who am whom you you are getting annoyed to and then find out which opinions are cre- of your own is creating that annoyance so that's how you will be able to get free of that okay 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 so sir says that we will hear a part today It's sure. not, the path will be by taxi bar. Sure. Taxi bar. Hey, Sachi Gana. Tara chhod thi a dunia ma bandhaye chhe antaraya karam saame chata na bhogavata khano pina ha karam. सामे छता ना भोगवाता खानो पीना हाय कर तर छोड़ थी आ दुनिया मा बंधाय छे अंतराय करम निश्चेतन या चेतन पुदगल सामा मणता छट छट करियो 
आभड़ छेटा तेरस कार आव्यो त्यारे ठे बो दे अकड़ो अहम विरोधता फेके दे व्यवहार कर अकड़ो अहम विरोधता फेके दे व्यवहार धर बिजड़े कवाणी ने टेंशन में बांधे जाते वे रगत तर छोड़ थी आ दुनिया में बंधाय छे अंतराय करम छे सचिदान सचिदा बहुत वेरी ब्यूटीफुल पद यू यू सेइंग वेरी गुड यू नो मीनिंग ऑफ तर छोड़ यस मींस इफ एनीथिंग इज कमिंग टू अस सो वी आर नॉट टेकिंग इट वी आर इग्नोरिंग इट and uh, what column do you break by third chord mm, column number 5 column number so sajani please talk a little bit about third chord and with uh, itaksi ba sajana sajana we we were just talking about annoyance and hatred and so third chord is something like annoyance or disrespect disregard and even even pushing away the things from us with all these negative emotions or negative attitudes so that's what is tarchod and it is both for both living as well as non living things and if we go little in depth to previous question as well as here moni monika ji it's our pride one who is seeking food for pride jinsko maan ki bhook zyada hoti hai unko dusron ke liye ninda tika criticism zyada aati hai so it's it's inner inner something inner our notes which are working so here it is said that uh, this and it breaks column 4 also column 5 also it may even go to column 1 also yeah. all the columns may be broken by this most of the columns not one because you may break somebody's egoism hurt somebody's egoism you 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 may be condemning the preachers teachers or other religions also you may have the abhav and tiraskar for the living beings you may have the hurting harsh and hurtful language towards others so to me it appears that uh, all the first five can be included in this one or other form okay hoy tak seba okay jai sachidanand jai sachidanand दीदी Post on for Sananya Didi. They are thinking. thinking. They are thinking. <laughs> they are thinking. Okay. Okay. My third chord is on like mummy sometimes angry with me. So um, when you lag, it's like mummy. Pan, like I'm third chord. Thay jai na prathye. and sometimes that... some peoples and also some things yeah i understand mom it is not it's it's a popat masti I, i don't think at your heart you have tarchod tarchod is from the heart at the level of heart where your heart is full of annoyance and aversion uh, negativity 
and what not it's at the level of heart and i do not want to sort of enter into that area but we are seeing around in the media in the newspapers especially in india or you you see in certain parts that we are having a annoyance or tarchod for certain group of people certain community of people and what not so it should not be at the level of heart that's all the basic crux of the story is mom next moment you will go to mom you can't have the hatred for mom so tarchod is your heart is full of hatred and annoyance and aversion and repulsion But, or whatever word you use it. yes but i don't know the perfect definition of tarchod what is tarchod in tarchod tarchod english ma eno koi shabd j exact na ave કેટલાક શબ્દ એવા છે કે આપણે ઇંગ્લિશ કરવા જઈએ પણ એ પાટલી જ થાય કારણ કે એમાં જે ડેપ્થ છે ગુજરાતી ભાષામાં એ ડેવલપ થયેલા લોકોની લેંગ્વેજ છે એટલું એટલું ડેપ્થ ઇંગ્લિશમાં આવી શકે એવું લાગતું નથી એટલે આપણે આપણી ભાષામાં સમજી જવાનું બરાબર વર્લ્ડ ઇઝ લાઈક અ મ્યુઝિયમ અનન્ય વેધર યુ એન્ડ મી like it dislike it approve it or disapprove it the world is like a museum and there will be all kinds of people in the museum there are 14 lakhs of layers as the enlightened ones say if you put one layer is comprising of similar uh, nearby uh, thinking and development process there will be 14 lakhs of layers and from the negative most to the positive most all the types of people will be there in the world there will be ram krishna mahavir also and there will be murderers and whosoever you name it and they'll be there the beauty is the vitrags lived in the same world and dada bhagwan gave a wonderful simile if you don't have drain drainage line gutter in your home will your kitchen remain good so they are required for the rest of the house to remain neat and clean drainage is are required you don't go and open the uh, door of that drainage or the dhakkan of that drainage right so similarly nature has made all these arrangements these are all natural arrangements and there will be drainages there will be pickpocketers there will be thieves but the white collar people have also robbed the people so who will balance their scores so nature need pick pocketers also nature need, need the thieves also and this is a natural wonderful balance so that there is no reason to be averse about anybody just know as it is look at their shuddha atma walk your own way it's not necessary that you you gale lagane jaane ka zarur nahi hai but aversion ka bhi zarurat nahi hai dada bhagwan told us second very beautiful thing we were in all in abu 79 we were very young and dada ji took us at all different places from morning to evening he said us one sentence museum mein you have right to look and enjoy it everything looking by looking observing but you can't take anything from the museum you will be caught and there'll be a baby in your hand so we could not understand what he meant by taking away from the museum no sooner you give the opinion about anything you are taking the thing with you from the museum so move around look at everything but don't develop a binding opinion especially a negative opinion about anybody number 1 it will hurt you number 2 it will bind you number 3 it will create headache for you number 4 it will create karmic bonds for you and you will be caught in your own net of your own opinion so you'll be taking the things from museum so you'll have to come again and again to the museum of this world 
so enjoy look understand how the world is functioning see scientifically with open mind why the nature is doing all these things if the, if you believe that nature or vishit shakti is doing this try to understand all these different formations of nature or vyavasthit shakti right right Hey, Sachidan, and thank you, all the kids. Come uh, again. We did. We did the question, the Buddha. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Hey, Sachidan. Hey, Sachidan. My question is that um, every time I my nishche is very strong, I don't want to do. I don't want to do this, but uh, um, some. some of the people and some of the things some of the atmosphere breaks my nature so that time what should i do first on a lighter moment then on a dinan moment if you have a big L, lcd led whatever tv at your home and five seven eight people are sitting would you like to keep remote with you or would you like to give away the remote if remote with me so why are you giving your remote to others if others can provoke you if others can diffuse you if others can make you angry or depressed or whatever your remote has gone to others right we want to do that no no dipakanand ji never gives remote to anybody even if one wants to snatch so yeah. don't give our remote to anybody don't allow the others to provoke us they are ready to get pro provoke us why should we get provoked right right so look within and now on a gnan note that it's a continuous interplay of on one side with his prakruti on other side with his understanding or a gnan part right Right. So before really the gnan part or understanding and jagrati takes over or starts functioning, the prakruti reacts. It's very fast reaction. So people say, "Don't react, give response." Right. Don't give reaction, but give response. Response is in your state of awareness with understanding, with gnan and with inner reconciliation. Right. Right. So it happens. The prakruti will burst out. but no matter okay we understood that it is with this prakriti say we immediately you understand that this is not correct it's mistake and we also say dada bhagwan i beg pardon for this mistake please forgive me and give me energy not to do it again but that's not all with it now is a next step because you are all very good and very noble hearted and very advanced uh, uh, souls i would say i am sharing this with you our prakruti is has not come from the sky we ourselves has made our prakruti by our past beliefs by our understandings by our certain uh, expectations and certain opinions so try to recognize that that what type of understanding what type of my agraha or insistence or what belief is making me provoked or making me prakruti to make such mistakes and right. what dadas gnan is now saying once you can counter or clear those prakrutik beliefs and understandings with dadas gnan and understanding prakruti will become normal and free of mistakes right. so prakruti itself is a bundle of beliefs and we can say mistakes so it will do it's okay it's natural to mistakes are going to happen it's our purusharth in first thing not to go with mistakes not to take the side of mistakes to do pratikraman in second stage to understand and change the beliefs and understanding of our prakruti which will allow us to get rid of those weaknesses or mistakes right right, right. perfect so we have to keep on washing the older understandings and beliefs with the current gnan understanding and beliefs agnya vaste bandhayelo pragnya sthite ukalata barabar 
but Thank this you. is a slow but wonderful process once you get a neck of it okay, how my prakruti is working and what should the gnan be working then you will be at a wonderful level of progress right Thank you. Jai Satchidanan. Jai Satchidanan. Jai Satchidanan. I apologize to the elderly people who probably some of them may, be know, may not be knowing English well. No, this But is English Satchang. I know Deepak Ananji. I know this is English Satchang. I, we know and we have ah, English. This is English. But at the same time, we have to be considerate to all people. So I'm no, 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 this is English section. I'm not going to Gujarati. I'm apologizing to them. Let yes. me apologize to them. This is English I, I never said that I'll do in Gujarati. This is English section. That's all I know. <laughs> okay. They, they have six days. They have six days during the week. <laughs> so this is a special session for the English speaking guys. But we are in my time. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Jai Sachidanan, Gidaman. Jai Sachidanan, Sailishananji Saib, Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Deepakananji Saib, Jai Sachidanan. Dada Bhavan. Please, huh? Ha, English, ha. Yes, please. Thori. थोड़ा मिस्टेक थी जाए दादा भगवान से एक वन वन अवतार आत्मा यू स्पीक इन गुजराती विल ट्रांसलेट इन इंग्लिश दादा भगवान कहे कि एक भव आत्मा ने माटे गाड़ी ले ले थोड़क समझाओ इंग्लिश में समझाओ सो चाल दादा भगवान सेड दैट फॉर मेनी मेनी बर्थ वी वेर लिविंग फॉर बॉडी सेल्फ और बॉडी माइंड सोल और नेम एंड नेम बिलोंगिंग्स नाउ सिंस दैट वी आर रियलाइजिंग दैट माई रियल सेल्फ और द प्योर सेल्फ और शुद्धात्मा सेल्फ इज इटर्नल एंड द रियल and permanent for me and that's my real form or my real swaru now i should live means have in my direction understanding jagrati purusha which will be for my pure self or the shuddhatma self mm-hmm. see if we give the examples we were living before this gnan and the world is living for body self means for body's pleasures for mind's pleasures for anger greed pride deceit money and all these relative things which were to be left over here with the name all the things attached to the name were going to remain here because i was never knowing my real self but since now i have known that i am shuddhatma i am full of uh, abode of infinite knowing power i am abode of infinite seeing or perception power i am abode of infinite bliss abode of infinite energy and on top of that i am chaitanya ganeshwarup or eternal now from within outside is not in my hands from, but from within now it should be my decision it should be my direction it should be my purushar to live for my real self that means all the inner measures ayu agnyas shuddha upyog all the satsang and all the tools and means which will be taking my pure soul self from second day to the purnima hmm. so that's what he is saying that for birth together you have always lived for body self but you have never been relieved or get you have never tasted even tasted the bliss now that you have tasted the bliss Mm-hmm. and you have known your real self live it live mm-hmm. one birth pass one life for the real self or shuddhatma self and you will be done mm-hmm. that's the meaning mm-hmm. of that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now okay. 
नाव नाव पुरुषार्थ शु करव the 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 purusharth has already been given simplified to us in five sentences but if we go deeper down let's mm. examine our own self that mm. i want to live for shuddhatma i want to live with five agnyas but mm. if something happens in my relative vyavhar <laughs> part do mm. i get stuck over there if something tells me something not liked by me or something counteracts me in my beliefs or doesn't agree with my my view point does i get stuck over there do i get annoyed do i get inner file that means i am living for relative not for real i am mm. still living for my body self not for living for my shuddhatma self whenever my egoism is not respected mm. or not taken care of or not regarded does it get wild and do i take the side of my ego or do i go to protect my ego if it is that i am living for relative or my body self or my egoism self and not for shuddhatma self so when the situations come you see whether you are i have to see whether i am living for shailesh or i am living for shuddhatma hmm and still most of the mahatmas will realize that they want to live for shuddhatma but many at times they they miss out on jagrati and hmm. they leave, they they still live for the name bearer hmm. correct correct or correct. they take the side of the name bearer hmm correct hmm correct. or prakriti whatever word you use it oh okay. correct good good करेक्ट डॉक्टर कशिप जय सचिदान एवरीवन शैलेश आनंद जी जय सचिन दीपक आनंद जी जय सचिन रजनी जी जय सचिन आई वांट टू आस्क अबाउट दिस व्हेन वन सत्संग दादा जी सत्संग ही टॉक्ड अबाउट मूर्ति प्रतिष्ठा ही डिड मूर्ति प्रतिष्ठा इन सम टेंपल्स एंड द द द पुजारी एंड सेड दैट ही नेवर हैड सच दर्शन बिफोर uh so can you please explain about what is murti pratishtha see murti pratishtha is sort of making murti alive idol of chetan and who can do it really speaking who can do it one number 1 one who is free of inner weaknesses of anger greed pride deceit attachment and aversion can really do the pratishtha in the murti or can make those that idol a live form or a, or a form which will give benefit like a live form number 2 one who is having the fully opened out experience of the pure self can Put the pran or pratishtha into that murti. So what, Ganadani, what, what is exactly pratishtha? Means what? What is the life? What? Uh, what pratishtha? Pratishtha is you are putting the energy, chetan energy, into that idol, so it gives the result as if it is a live, live entity. So it's a very subtle science. So whenever gnani purush or tirthankar, so they don't have to do anything. But whenever the gnani does the pratishtha. the chit prasannata and the murti becomes sort of smiling the atmosphere gets changed that is why the pujari said that he never had seen such a pratishtha or such an atmosphere and gnani to it's a height of it but we also experienced in 1992 when the surat mandir's pratishtha function was going on it was five days function and at 12 night we all 700 800 mahatmas were sitting in front of the mandir in that a small tent and we were told that usually nobody is allowed whenever the acharya is doing pratishtha because it is disturbing to them 
from within dada bhagwan said that please allow us the mahatmas would not disturb but there will be something divine and mahatmas were sitting for 48 50 minutes speaking the shuddhatma qualities i am shuddhatma i am vishuddhatma from within and whenever their inner state was at a very good state i am pure soul self like a simandar swami and they did a bhav pratishtha and the whole atmosphere was so divine so divine so divine those who were present must 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 be yes yeah kirti ben so it was it was never seen never experienced event so that can that happen so this is see murti we have created but when the pratishtha means our life power is given to the murti the murti changes and then there are deities behind the murti so no sooner you enter such a temple your whole inner and outer things get changed and your whole experience you, you experience a different world within you enter the surat mandir you enter the mesana mandir you enter the simandar swami's mandir which has been pratishta pratis which has been given the pran by gnani purus and you experience something so so the uh, mortis uh, the idol smiling and other uh, yeah murti smiling is when your own chit becomes prasanna murti appears smiling to you okay like that it's and, it's uh, a state of your own reflective consciousness your own chit which is so divine so pious so prasanna that murti talks with you murti smiles with you so the so the the, uh, the celestial beings also they have a role in this yes very much very much very much without the uh, deities and divine powers this won't function so every uh, tirtha kshetra and every idol has the div- divine powers deities or celestial beings working with, uh, or and protecting them but so the they, main important is the pratishtha by gnani purush or tirthankar or such a higher highly evolved people who really make it a different story so the celestial beings they become pleased and they create such atmosphere and such some events you know that is how it happens you not only they they have their own roles but more than the celestial powers and their uh, state it's the state of purity it is the pure soul state it is the state of the self realized ones which makes this happen the deities will also want to be there to have the darshan of them so the purity influence also is is, is uh, creating all such uh, uh, atmosphere divine as well. yes 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 okay so means basically gyani purush or uh is a dear tanka he is instilling the purity in the uh, uh, uh bhav of purity in the uh, uh, idol is it is it correct uh, okay. like that purity in relative and experience in real absolutism both Ab- absolutism thank you yes sir nikhil bhai wants to ask something sital or nikhil bhai has raised hand deepak ji Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Jay Sachidanan, uh, Shailesh Anand Ji, Jay Sachidanan. Um, Shailesh Anand Ji, I have this file, and whenever this file comes in front of me, my ego comes up very big. Um, and there are two things I've observed that happens that I want to understand what I can do as a Purusharth. one thing is i have this opinion that i am better i know more than this person i'm superior than this person so that creates lots of suffering and and the way it happens is anytime this person says something immediately in my mind i don't say anything outside but in my mind either i try to put it down or try to put something on top like oh so i know this too like you know that kind of a reaction like one upper having a upper hand so that's one thing and then the second thing that happens is this opinion that i'm right because other people 
say the same thing I'm thinking about this person, therefore I'm right. And that's also stopping me from progressing. So what, yes, please provide guidance here. Yes. So Shetal, it's a very nice uh, uh, sort of uh, area you have brought out. Uh, yeah, we look at from both things uh, since we have gnan. If we look relative and real Shuddhatma into the person, it solves 80% of your our question. No sooner we see relative and real, no sooner we see Shuddhatma in the other person, if we apply Gnan, that oh, it's Vyavasthit happening, relative real Shuddhatma and Shital do the dispose the file amicably with equanimity, that works 80%. But on the second side, you are right that the relative self or prakruti, the ego stands up, I am right also stands up, I know more also stands up. Yeah. Now, uh, that's correct. Now tell me two things. Yes. First and foremost, is Sheetal wanting recognition from others? Is Sheetal living by when she she's recognized or approved or said better by others or Sheetal lives in her own self, by her own self? No, from, right. what I've, from what I've from what I've observed, Sheetal's looking for recognition is what yes. I've observed. Oh, can't hear you. So, so in a way, in a, in a subtle part of your one's prakriti, one is yes. little afraid. One is little afraid that the others will not recognize me, the others will not approve me, the others will not. Yes. So that little fear. Yes. He's asking ego to take some weapon of I'm right or confrontation. Now, right. as against that, if we want to live happily, harmoniously, nicely, then the better tool is love. Better love. tool is friendliness. So when, when our heart is friendly and when our heart is full of love, does ego stand up in between? No, I've also had experience with the same person where I'm coming from love and nothing about this person bothers me. And then the yes. other times it's exactly the opposite. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying that it, this, this Prakruti is a, is a such a fast perplex machine, I would say. It's a uh -huh. Pudgal machinery which is working. And I'm trying to understand the Pudgal machinery. On one yeah. gear, it is ego, I'm right, and why yeah. does you see he or she doesn't listen to me, and why he or she wants to tell her story, yeah. or whatever, whatever, whatever. This yeah. is one Udgal machinery, which in the bottom is afraid that I'll not be recognized, I'll not be approved, my value will not be there, and this and that and whatnot. On the other yeah. side, when it's friendly and love, there's no fear of others recognizing or because we in ourselves are very happy and 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 we don't need those flimsy things of of in the world so yeah. if you transact from this to this be full of love be full of friendliness and all these worldly small matters will get washed away ultimately eat live and be happy but with this change of so this is one thing which comes to my mind that rather than kicking away that egoism, it's very difficult to kick away egoism. It's easy to transform that egoism. So uh, we can transform that egoism to be friendly, to be loving, caring, loving. sharing with oneness. So little transformation of that egoism and ego will not be standing there in between. Yes. So with this file, I feel it's, in the moment, I don't have, like, the ego comes up, but afterwards, I do Pratikrama and I see relative real. Then I everything becomes at peace. and every, But then when, you know, the file comes in front of me, and then everything comes no, up but, again. But that, that's, see, if I share my thing a little bit, I have three people working with me as a staff in a hospital, right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes I may have to tell them reluctantly also. So mm -hmm. I make enough arrangements within me. I tell them that I don't like to tell you, but for this and these reasons, I'm, and they also know. And then I, if, if, 
if I have lost my balance even a little bit, I tell mm-hmm. them sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't expect them to tell me sorry. They are my staff. Actually, ego says they should say me sorry, but no, it's their job, their understanding. I tell them sorry. Mm-hmm. So my ego gets away. Whatever. So I and, I and never... the strength and 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 the strength is in living or in saying sorry, not expecting sorry from others. The inner I strength, one who sorry. is having inner strength, will say sorry and move away, move ahead, and will not wait for others to tell them sorry or tell them come back, you were right and I was wrong and what not. Right, right. So, so... A little change of. Uh, uh, understanding, I think, will, this is only relative plane. I'm talking re- relative, real, and agnya. I already mentioned first, but sometimes only aganas also don't work. Our prakriti it, has to be explained properly. Yes, because it will work for a while. Like uh, I'll set purusharth and I will, but then it's a prakriti. After a little while, so that, yeah. what what I talked with Vidhi applies to all of us. That Prakruti is a bundle of understandings which we had brought from the past. The, with present understanding, we have to change the Prakruti's understandings. And once the Prakruti's understandings are changed, there will not be any problem. Okay. So, and then, yeah. And this second thing I mentioned, there is something in inside me that, like, you know, okay, okay. No, I think I am right. The problem is with the other person because everybody also says that. See, right is one who makes the situation lovely. Dada, Dada Bhagwan said, Bachpan thi sau sanjo gone mitha kari jane vevahare gnani purusani bodh kadane jani jovi tarehvare. Dadaji said, if you are right, the situation should not get worse. If you are right, there should not be any conflict, clash, lack of harmony and whatnot. Even if the others are creating it, you are right when you do not allow it to become disharmonious or do not allow it to get disturbed. Right is one who can set everything in a happy, harmonious, amicable thing. Dada Bhagwan said common sense is one which can open all the locks and will not allow any tie to be there or any heart to get apart. So right is one who can make all, can keep all hearts together and will not allow heart or mind to get apart. So now you decide what is the right and right. what is the wrong. Because okay. what we say right and wrong is by our own beliefs, by our own relative framework. In a relative, there is nothing right or wrong. In a relative, right is one which the others, which wins the heart of other people. Others. Okay. Whatever. What the Nikhil has to say. Nikhil is just keeping silent. Uh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Partnership is one which is uh, which both are sharing. Mm. <laughs> Jai Sachidanan. Jai Sachidanan. Uh, Shileshanji, today yes. is supposed to be the last day and uh, we have been doing uh, retrospection on how we see the world at fault contrary to what Dada Bhagwan has seen, the whole world innocent and he used this Spiritual science, you can say, you can say holistic science, you can say the stepless path, the direct vision of pure soul with which he saw the whole world innocent. He said he spent 30 lives to understand the operation of the whole universe. And he came to conclusion that there is no individual who is operating but collective scientific circumstantial evidences come together and things happen. So that's how he showed that path, that way to see the whole world innocent. And only then that you become instrumental for the real welfare of the world. 
So in this regard, uh, today is supposed to be the last day. And, uh, we've been doing this from last four weeks. So I would request you to uh, shed some light on this matter and how you and what you have learned or known from Dada Bhagwan further in this regard, which is in relation to the, the last uh, code of conduct, that is ninth code of conduct to become instrumental for the real welfare of the world. Jai Sachidanan. Very true. So, Dipakananji, it's very rightly that Dadaji said that we saw the whole world innocent by making our vision clear and innocent. Mahavir right. also did that. I, we also did that. And you will be relieved when you can do that. So right. now when I started looking in one, once in Samai, I prayed that hey, Dada Bhagwan, give me the inner strength. So wherever I'm seeing the folds of the people, I can, I, can, I can just see that and clean that. So I saw a lot of, for a few days that at, initially at each and every human being, which I, I was coming into some uh, Vavhar, I may had, I had seen some faults or something not correct, or it should not be like that and this way and that way. So gradually I went on cleaning that. I applied, or in fact, when I prayed, I experienced that the pragna does a, such a wonderful work and sheds light of so many angles and aspects. Relative and real is one angle or aspect. That's absolute angle. That by relative, each one, nobody is independent to do anything. Vyavasthit Shakti is making them do. It's a scientific circumstantial. So in a relative, why anybody is not at fault? Because one is not independent. <laughs> One is being driven by karmas, driven by Vyavasthit, which is doing this. Really, when you see Shuddhatma, Shuddhatma, immediately everybody will say, Oh, Shuddhatma Bhagavan, Namaskar, Shuddhatma cannot be at fault. So this is a basic. But then when I went deep, then so many things came up that it was my own inner beliefs, my own inner opinions, my own inner design, my own framework, which was looking others looking others at fault. If I love the people who are talking nicely and goody goody, then I'll see, oh, they are not at fault. Then the outspoken people, even though they are speaking truth, I'll, I'll see them at fault. So I realized my own framework, my own design, my own prakruti, my own insistences and opinions, which I went on cleaning. So I started cleaning my own inner chashma inner vision, which will allow me to see the others as innocent. Apart from relative real Vyavasthit Karta and Shuddhatma, main gana, this helped me. Then as I went ahead, the, as I said, I saw that for each and every person I had opinion, maybe lighter, maybe denser. So gradually I went on clearing that those part went on getting cleared. I had already realized that I am at the loss when I'm looking at somebody at a fault because immediately it hurts me. Immediately I become unhappy by looking at the fault of others. Then next step, I once I prayed in Samaik that, okay, Dadaji, whenever I'm seeing fault of someone, there is some light, some awareness. Pragna tells me this is not correct. But I'm seeing day in, day out, the others as doers. The other has done good rasoi, the other has done seva, the other has not done the job and this and that. So you said that nobody is doer, I am not doer, he is not doer, they are not doers. And I am seeing in my relative vision, I am seeing everybody as a doer. Leave aside faults, I may not have seen faults. I may not, I may have seen Dipakananji conducts the satsang very well. But that's not enough. Dipakananji is not doer. Dipakananji is a wonderful instrument in the scheme of Vyavasthit. So when I do, cannot apply the full Vignan, again, my experiment remains halfway or incomplete. So I heard, I realized that, oh, spontaneously I am 
seeing and ascribing doership into all of the people around or whomsoever I see. And Dadaji said that as long as you are seeing others as doers, you yourself has not become non-doer, even though you are speaking that. So that step I realized. So gradually, gradually I'm moving. And last thing, despite doing all this, the Prakruti, as long as it is not totally cleaned up, will come up again, will come up again. So I have to take out time, sit back, clean it, come back. But with this going on, believe me, the inner Pudgal load will become very less. The aurans or the visions in clarity will go away. And then easily one can apply this and can stay or see as the world really innocent. Otherwise, it's not really easy. It's the last thing. It's the last station, I would say, near to last station, which we, we are looking at. But yes, the Purushart and the Vignan is wonderful. And we can really have that. And as I said, the world is going to be like this. All the types of people in all the gatis and directions and people will be going to four directions and few to the pip mocks. It will be going like that. It's I have to clean my vision and pass through that. Because no sooner I see the fold, no sooner Prakruti or relative self sees the fold or even if not the fold sees one as a doer, I'll be stuck there. I'll be stuck with the Pudgal. I'll be out of Chetan. I'll be out of Shuddhatma's Chetan part. And unless that is done, I cannot be instrumental for welfare of anybody. And the classical example Dadaji used to give that on one side there may be thief sitting, on another side there may be a donor sitting, on one side there may be a Sati sitting on other side, there may be a Vesha sitting, but in our vision, nobody is different or relative real and nobody is at fault. And if I have even an iota that he is a thief, my words or my presence will not be beneficial or transformational to him, even though I talk that by doing this, you will be at a loss in that. But inside, I don't have that iota and I see at Shuddhatma and I feel oneness and that Vatsalya Bhav and then he also gets transformed. The murderers have been transformed in the presence of Gnani and Tirthankaras, the thieves have been transformed because it's a Pudgal only. And it's very easy to come from that unhappiness and suffering to the happiness of the pure soul or the purity side. It's really easy. It's difficult to remain on the side of murderer or a thief. It's easy. But the instrument, Gnani Purus, has to be absolutely transparent, cleared, and, and, and vision should be like that. So this is how Gnanis or Tirthankaras are, their presence is. Goshalak was there in front of Mahavir. But inside, Mahavir has never seen him as a fault and ultimately he blessed Goshala that you will also achieve moksha. Of course, the nature takes its own course, but ultimately, Goshala received Mahavir Sashirwad. So this is a Dipakananji really an experiment. But I realize one thing, pray, Sit, do vidhi, and rest. Pragna Dadaji will keep on working with you. Yeah, very good. But I would like to request you to elaborate at least one example, uh, very practical of your day-to-day uh, -day curriculum, how you use Dada science to see the other person innocent, although your inner belief and inner understanding was showing that the person is at fault. Because yes. this, will, this will really help us how to correlate or how to use Dada's science to see someone innocent. Although you are seeing 
desperately seeing that the person had fallen and you are just mad at the person. I, I, I fully got your point. So it happens at many, very many levels. It keeps on happening, let me tell you. If I take a very gross, simple bottom example, it happens with my staff. I know that they should have been doing this. They are not. So give an example that they did this, this, this particular thing, which they were not supposed to be doing. Because yes. they, they, are, they are having this experience, they are working with you from last 10 years, like. Yes. But still they did. So now. Yeah. Once I came to knew that, uh, see, I am in a way liberal with them that I feel that they should also remain happy. But that, the human tendency is to misuse that liberation. So once I came to know that they are giving injections, they are using my hospital syringes and they are putting money into their pocket. So whatever. So, <laughs> this is very common. It's very common. So, but one fine moment I came to know, I was not really knowing this much in detail, but why? But okay. 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 Now believe me, what my mind can tell me, it can become wild. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I told my mind. Okay, see, relative real. Immediately, I, I, I could. I, First I, step, I see, relative real. Yeah. First step, correct. I could remain normal. I told them that, okay, do you think that we should continue this? That's okay. But I could leave them happily, and I'm living with them and living nicely with them because I see. At one time, Deepakananji, in such samai, the answer came from within. In this world, if I am trying to find a person who is faultless, I am foolish. Because a faultless person will be in the Siddha Gati, not here. Person is here, even I am here, even Shailesh is here, that signifies that there are mistakes inside. There are weaknesses inside. Somebody's. Dadaji used to say, one who is bola, uska mistake dikta hai bar. One who is very kapti, uska mistake dikta nahi hai bar. So one, one who is a seasoned thief cannot be caught. One who is no is thief can be caught. So from within, I got the answer that here everybody will have some or other weakness if looked from that aspect. But luckily, Dadaji's vision is working. So I never look at it. Relative real Shuddhatma, and I, in fact, feel that let them also grow out of that so they will not have to do it again or they, they grow out of that. So I could stay. This was a gross example. Now, you and me know that so many things are happening around us at all levels, including our spiritual journey. And there also we have to see everybody Shuddhatma, Vyavasthit, and let. The Vitrag Mark shine its own way, but I don't have any right to have aversion or find fault with anybody from within my heart. Because this is, see, another example which is helping me, Deepakananji, to reconcile myself, even whatever yes. happened in the sunk. Yes. Was, initially, our relative self was shocked. Okay, we have given the life, we have seen this, and we have this. Uh, uh, idea of purity with us, with which we devoted our life to Dada. But then to reconcile this Prakriti is very important, apart from Gnan relating real Vyavasthit also. So this example helped me a lot that in presence of Lord Mahavi, Shrenik's two sons, Konik and other son, they fought for a flimsy thing of one elephant and one har, mala. Garden, yes. uh, garland or uh, necklace. Necklace. Right. And in a relative viewpoint, hundreds of people died in those wars. But still, Mahavir was not, Mahavir could look at the things relatively. And he looked, okay, this is the play of karmas, how Bhamarda, the tops, are being driven by Vyavasthi in his own presence, in his own time. So, in rest of the times, we are fortunate to have this vision with which we can pass unscratched or unbroken from within at least. 
and come back to the, our normal state that okay relative will shuddhatma this is what the vyavasthit had to unfold and let pray vyavasthit that the vitrag mark shines as it is so it's helping day in day out and it has to be a continuous journey and the second thing i ask myself am i normal with all these people can right. i smile with all these people can my speech remain taint free or effect free with all these people if it is so i am correct if it is not i am incorrect still somewhere right. very true very true these are the very clear indications whether you have really seen them innocent you have pardoned them and all that very at least i have become free from within from about their opinions or anything about them or about anybody rather right right thanks a lot jai sachin and, and and i i still ask shailesh that if vyavasthit brings them to you okay i'll be as loving to them as i was before very good very good that's my part rest of the part each individual has to take care sab sab ki sambhalo main meri porta hu each one must take care of themselves yes. i take care of myself yes from within <laughs> that's true very good thank you so much jai sachidanand thanks for the elaboration Yes, uh, our, we are done with the time, so please uh, say three mantra. I'll follow. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Namo Vitragai. Namo Vitragai. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Arihantanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Siddhanam. Namo Ayariyanam. Namo Ayariyanam. नमो वज्जायानम नमो वज्जायानम नमो लोए सव्वसाहुनम नमो लोए सव्वसाहुनम ऐसो पंचन मुक्कारो ऐसो पंचन मुक्कारो सव्वपाव पनासनु सव्वपाव पनासनु मंगलानं च सव्वेसिं मंगलानं च सव्वेसिं पद्मम् हवाई मंगलम् पद्मम् हवाई मंगलम् ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय जय सच्चिदानं जय सच्चिदानं जय सच्चिदानं एंड सम अदर टाइम आई विल शेयर सम स्मॉल टिप व्हिच नेचर बीट्स मी टू कीप मी स्ट्रेट सम अदर टाइम definitely we will take advantage we take benefit i am beaten your... whenever i am off center <laughs> that's true shay sachidanand tomorrow is monday and our program starts like this 6:30 we have morning prayers 10:15 gujarati satsang 3 pm hindi satsang 4:30 we have kirtan bhakti and aarti's night 9 pm we will have worldwide satsang in gujarati and tomorrow we will start something else we'll think about it and we'll share tomorrow 